Hello and welcome to Grim 3D for the first day of 2020. A new year and a new decade. Today we're going to talk about upgrades on the Monoprice Maker Select. Stay tuned. As you notice on my Maker Select Plus right here, I have quite a few upgrades. A lot of them you can see in some of the videos that I've done in the past, but there are a couple that I haven't really talked about that I wanted people to know about. And as kind of a bonus for this first day of 2020, I wanted to just quickly talk about some of my favorite upgrades, some of the things that really made this printer what it is today and really made it more enjoyable for me to actually use. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I also have a Prusa i3 Mark III. Um, that printer came pretty much out of the box, ready to print. I highly recommend it for those that don't really want to tinker a lot. But the Maker Select not only printed pretty well out of the box, but has a lot of options that you can do to change it, to tinker with it, to mess with it, and to make it your own. So... Let's talk about the Maker Select for a minute. So as we look at my Maker Select right here, first of all, to move it onto the desk, I actually disconnected my Raspberry Pi with the OctoPrint. Now that's actually a really decent upgrade. If you really wanna have better control over your printer, know what's going on, know, you know what layer it's on, how it's printing, what the time left, you know, all of that kind of stuff, you need kind of a control software and OctoPrint has worked for me really well um, on regular Pi 3B. So I kind of left that over there. There's plenty of videos online to talk about that. Um, let's talk about the tool holders for a second. Notice how many tools. I got the glasses, I got the super lube, I've got scraper, I've got my calipers, digital calipers on there, pair of scissors, razor blade with cap, Safety first. I got my SD card that I don't really use much anymore, but I do have a holder for it so it can stay kind of out of the way. I have my flush cutters. And then across the back here, you can see that I have my Allen wrench set that actually came with the Maker Select Plus. Okay, but another thing that's awesome about the Maker Select Plus and a definite advantage over the Prusa, in my opinion, is this steel frame. And because it's steel, look what I can do. I have this as a magnet, magnetizes right on there. I just literally inside there glued myself in a neodymium magnet and then I have it stuck to a magnet on the side. So there's my brush for cleaning uh, the print nozzle. Here are my shims that I use for leveling the bed. Here's a machinist ruler uh, up to six inches or 150 millimeters. That comes in pretty handy. And right on the front here is just with magnets glued on both sides, which I just glued with CA glue, but magnets glued on both sides. So I don't have to worry about which direction I put it on the frame. It just sticks to the frame. So I've got all of these tools set up on this side with one little tiny 3D printed tool holder and magnets. So the magnets actually make uh, hanging on the tools and putting tools near your machine uh, really uh, helpful, really quick, really easy, pretty simple. And then you'll notice on the other side, I have some CA glue remover, a larger X-Acto knife with kind of a chisel point in it. There's my burr removing knife, a burr knife. Those are pretty awesome. And a set of needle nose pliers. So that's pretty cool. Although this is a pretty convenient way of setting up a printer and having everything you need right at your fingertips. Believe it or not, this really isn't my favorite upgrade on this machine. The idea for this tool holder that was modified by me to fit the tools that I wanted to use, the idea for the tool holder is design I got from Thingiverse that I altered heavily, but the original link is down in the description. So if you wanna check that out, you can go check that out. Um, I have lights, LED lights on the front, right here on these strips. Uh, the power supply for these LEDs, so these are 12 volts. The power supply for these LEDs is actually over where the Monoprice lives. 
but uh, LEDs, LEDs on these front Z braces that actually just pops. These are all metal Z braces and these channels just kind of pop on there, pop off, that kind of thing. They're just a 3D print that I did and that's fine. Okay, but the lights are still not even my favorite, my favorite upgrade. Okay, you'll notice that I've got this slant and I did actually a video on this with the slant holder for the LCD screen. Actually, this is really convenient. It tips it out a little bit so you can see it actually has a slot in the side in case I want to upgrade on the fly. I don't have to take the whole printer apart to get to the LCD upgrade micro SD slot. So that's pretty cool, but still not my favorite. My favorite upgrade on this entire printer from everything that I've done, the Micro Swiss hot end, the Noctua fan, the part cooling shroud, uh, that's what they call a Cobra cooler. Uh, it's awesome, the link's in the description. But my favorite upgrade to this printer, bar none, the one that I find the most useful, the one that I use the most often and appreciate the most, is this right here. Now you'll notice if you've been watching my, my videos, even though th this is a Monoprice Maker Select Plus, my build plate says Ender on it. Well, right now it says 2020 on it. But let me show you why this is my favorite upgrade. I haven't actually used this part removal scraper for a long time. Okay, no more damaging build plate, no more damaging my fingers or any kind of, you know, cutting anything myself or my equipment. That mostly just lives there in case I need it because I haven't needed it for a long time. Because the favorite upgrade, all I gotta do to get this off of here, because it's flexible, it's magnetic. Another thing that the flexible and the magnetic has allowed me to do is I can then get this build plate right here, I can get it away from the printer, which makes it easier to clean and I actually use hairspray as a release agent and as a kind of a sticking agent for that first layer. It's awesome, check it out. Purple can, Aquanet, it's great, cheap. Get some, use it, I highly recommend it. But this right here is my favorite upgrade on the whole printer. Even though my printer's not an ender. Okay, I have no affiliation with these people at all. It's just, I found one online that was just bigger than the build plate. So this was actually cut by me with a razor blade to match exactly the build plate that I have. By far my favorite upgrade because of what it can do. It gets my build plate away from the printer for cleaning or for spraying. It makes it, it's easy to connect it back on. You just slap it down and it's right in place, ready to go. Transfers the heat well, it does a lot of stuff. Now, this type of two-part magnetic flexible build plate a lot of these don't have very high temperature ratings on them but that's okay because i mostly use the maker select plus to print pla in fact i don't think i've printed much else than pla on it for a long time because i have the prusa next door that's printing my petg for me with a magnetic spring steel build plate awesome upgrade by far my favorite let me show you how i did it it's pretty simple Let's get to it. So when I purchased my Maker Select Plus, it came with an extra build plate surface sticker. This one has not been used, as you can see, it's still got the paper on the back. But I thought to myself, how could there be a better template for what the size and shape of the build plate actually is? So I've actually used this as a template, but not as a build surface. I mean, and I don't, I don't know that this, this really isn't that bad of a build surface. It's a fine build surface. But I figured for myself, if I was going to go through the trouble of peeling the old one off when it got damaged and then removing all of the adhesive, because if you've ever done that, I mean, it takes a long time. I went through it one square inch at a time with some goof off and rubbed the old adhesive off piece by piece by piece. It took me about an hour to get that all off of there and get it clean. So... I didn't really want to stick a new one of these on that just had a limited lifespan. I wanted to put down uh, something that was removable and easily replaceable, and that was my original idea. 
So I went online and I bought, I found one, a build plate, which is a brand new one because I bought two, uh, <clears throat> that was just bigger than the Maker Select build surface. So then I opened that up. Once I had my, my aluminum build plate cleaned off on the, on the Maker Select Plus, and I noticed, yeah, it says Ender on it, but I don't care. So I took this build plate like this, and I took that sticker, lined it up right there, put it in the middle. Notice this is both parts, this is A and B. So there's A and there's B underneath there. So it's a two part sticker. And I wanted to cut them together because if you've ever used one of these before, you'll notice that, that they index. You can even kind of hear it. It's like there's magnetic fields in there, or stripes of magnetic fields that holds the one piece in the right place over the top of the other piece. And so I want to make sure that those are lined up and those magnetic fields are set properly. That way when I put it back on the build plate, it will go back in the same place every time. Make sure everything's oriented correctly before you stick it down because trust me, this is not going to stick too well this way. See, that doesn't that doesn't even latch on. It doesn't stick. You got to make sure you've got it the right direction and that you've got all the indexing, you know, like little magnetic indexers. So I don't even know what they call those. But anyways, you can you can feel them. When you when you get one of these, you can feel them. So watch that. Watch for that. It only sticks one direction. It won't stick the other direction. Okay? And then I literally just took this, put this over the top, and you can do whatever you want to to try to hold it down. I'm just demoing here really quick. Held that down, and with my razor blade, I literally went around the outside of this and cut down through both pieces. Notice I got my silicone mat underneath there. It's pretty tough, and if it you know, gets destroyed, I can buy a new one rather than cut into my desk. All I did was cut this out very carefully all the way around, Dun, 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 dun. And then I have a removable magnetic build plate with kind of a textured surface on it. It has worked fantastically for me ever since I've done this. Probably been on my printer now for six months or more, maybe eight months. I bought two in case the surface didn't hold it very well, but the original one is still going strong. I do multiple prints a week and it just peels back off. And in fact, if I took the one off of the printer right here, I end up with a sticker that looks like that. That's where I cut that out of, okay? But you'll notice it's kind of got kind of a funky looking surface on it. That's just multiple layers of hairspray. If I was to take this, which I can, I can just peel this off, take it over to the sink, use maybe some water, maybe some IPA, clean this off, this sticker would look brand new like that sticker. And it's been on my printer doing its job for eight months. It makes it fantastically easy to use. It makes it easier for me to use hairspray because I used to use glue stick because I didn't want the hairsprays overspray to damage my printer. But it allows me to use the hairspray. It allows me to get this away from the printer for cleaning. So I have to clean it all right on the printer and bash my belt or my bearings or my or my rods with pressure from you know washing it and cleaning it and wiping it and that kind of thing of all the upgrades i've made to the maker select plus this is my favorite right here it's absolutely fantastic i highly recommend it well there you have it my favorite upgrade of all the upgrades i've done on my monoprice maker select which is quite a few the magnetic removable build plate totally my favorite it's easy to do it's easy to keep, it's easy to clean, it's easy to print, it's easy to remove stuff, works fantastic. Doesn't handle high heat, but if you're just printing PLA, go for it. Well, that's it. This episode of Groom 3D has come to a close. Welcome to 2020. Remember, throw us a comment down below if you've got any ideas for great upgrades, stuff that's easy to do, stuff that's easy to keep, stuff that's made your printing life tons easier. Subscribe if you would like. Keep the comments civil, smash that like button, ring that bell. We'll see you out there.